All right, apparently I'm late on my payment for my sense of humor. The sun is just a magical, mystical instrument of energy. You can say it's science. I can say it's magic. We can both be right. Ain't life cool like that? I think so. Man, the sun's been going so crazy, and people have been going so crazy, that I've been going so crazy, I haven't been able to make a video. I've just been stockpiling and stashing the crazy sun footage. All the solar tsunamis, the coronal mass ejections, the solar flares, the weird unexplainable things, the dancing filament gremlins, solar hurricanes, the sun jiggles, the solar wiggles. You know, it's just been stacking up. And then when I'm cutting the footage together, I'm just staring at it going like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. So, you know, I'm hoping now to calm down a little. I don't know who calms down first, me or the sun. Maybe we both do at the same time. That would be cool, huh? So, I'm just trying to show you. A couple of these special images. It's almost like a clear representation of how crazy I, you, and the rest of the world have been over the month of November, or the last few days, the last few weeks, the last few years. Who knows? This double peak minimal solar maximum that never ends and is really weird is freaking me out. But it's okay. It's like surfing. Fight, flat or surf. What are you going to do? Look, I'm going to surf. I'm going to surf this one. See that CMA? I'm surfing it. See that filament? I'm surfing it. See that solar flare? I'm surfing it. Is there a difference between coronal mass ejections and solar flares? Absolutely. Am I going to explain right now? Heck no, because I'm surfing. So come on and surf along with me. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. You're right, sir. Zoo. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Thor News presents. All right, apparently I'm late on my payment for my sense of humor. The sun is just a magical, mystical instrument of energy. You can say it's science. I can say it's magic. We can both be right. Ain't life cool like that? I think so. We're now looking at the stereo head HI1 camera, and somebody splattered some crap on the lens. It does appear. Luckily, at some point, somebody cleans it off for us. Must be those intersolar system space fairies Phil Plate is always talking so much about. And over there is the giant fish constellation. Uh, I think that might be, I don't know. Every year, I'm like, hey, dude, what is that? That looks weird. And then they're like, uh, it is the Pleiades or the Bumblebee Galaxy. I'm like, okay, that's dumb. Nah, I'm dumb. Isn't that great? I love you, too. Uh, I just want an eye roll, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back in action here talking about the sun. We're going to look at the last 10 days or so now on the stereo cameras ahead core 2. I'd like to remind you that the white circle in the middle represents the sun. The black circle around the white circle represents the occulting disk NASA uses to block out the sunlight to tell what the sun is doing. And now that weird disc at the bottom, I have absolutely no idea what the hell that is. That little black disc at the bottom earns it an official silver, white, and blue stamped WTF. Is that? Yeah, I have no idea. Some fancy pants debunker could come by and tell us what the giant black blob is growing underneath the sun. I and my viewers would appreciate it. Then here we got something. See this right here? Kind of looks like Nibiru. No, but seriously, if you think that's Nibiru, you need to go to some type of AA. Like, I see Nibiru everywhere, anonymous class. It does have a weird circular shape, I will admit, but that would mean it's like 80 times the size of the sun. And uh, I think we'd be able to spot something like that. But there is just a whole lot of weirdness going on in the stereo camera. Hope you don't mind, but I do plan to point out some of it. Whereas the activity actually has been low. It's not something you hear me say often. What is that thing right there? We have a second WTF. Though, I'm too lazy at the moment to write it out. See that little thingy right there? What is that? So yeah, the sun's got some jets sticking out. One from the North Pole. What was that? Yeah, that's... I haven't had a whole lot of coronal mass ejections or solar flares. We did just have a giant filament ripoff again. And the sun has a lot of stuff sticking out of it. I think the 22nd was the filament ripoff. I don't know, they flip-flop all these cameras. You never really can't tell. It's frustrating, mildly at times. Look at all the dangly fangly things that are sticking out of the sun. One, two, three, four, five. What is the sun doing? Where is it going? Now it looks like a weird phoenix. You go super speed here. Yeah, so we got two rabbit ears. It's like the sun is trying to pick up basic cable around the solar system. Well, you need to get a digital box, son. Congress made that a law. Also, son, you better not be using any of those old-timey light bulbs. You need to get the more expensive ones that are toxic and will kill you if they break and their juice flows out onto the surface where living creatures live. There was a boom. Pretty sure that was a filament liftoff. So in one way you could say the sun is being calm. Another way you could say it's kind of freaking out. And once again, disregard the Nibiru thing. Personally, I think it looks like space clouds. Giant freaking space clouds. That'll be the name of my band.
here we are looking at the Stereo Head HI2 camera, which used to be my favorite because you couldn't see jack crap, but apparently they cleaned it up a bit. So now you can kind of see stuff. Not really, but whatever. Man, for no coronal mass ejections, you still got a lot of shit firing out of there. Oh, I'm not even recording. I was recording. What? It's weird. There's like a straight line that comes out of there. See that? We are now looking at a giant filament tear off the south of the sun. It's low and away and won't cause any danger or damage to Earth. But I do want to point out that if you look at this one, it's the blue that scares me. We never want to see too much blue in the sun. And it is weird that the top and bottom blue are almost connecting. That's pretty rare. The sun is just a magical, mystical instrument of energy. You can say it's science. I can say it's magic. We can both be right. Ain't life cool like that? I think so. And then we get the filament tear off on the 22nd. And we get a giant straight line shoot through the sun soon after. I wonder what that's about. Maybe someone created a space elevator that goes through the sun. I think space elevators are goofy, a bit like malarkey. Also, this pack over here of stars seems to show up pretty well in the gray one. They must be stars that are semi-close, but still light years and light years away that nobody's really got to worry about them, right? It's neat though, this planet right here happens to grow planet wings in the near future. So yes, coronal mass ejections, solar flares have been low, but we are still getting a bit of activity. The sun is still putting out a large sum of light. And it still looks like there's a whole bunch of space dust and cosmic debris flying through. Look at Mercury coming around the mountain, shooting out backside of the sun, saying, Yeehaw, let's party. Sun is looking a bit bright. That's okay. And here was that thing that I saw, the infinity chain or whatever. And then you got smudge over there. It's pretty weird, right? Yeah, that's all we do is we just look at the weird crap. And strange solar activity causes strange weather, strange clouds, and strange sights in the skies, whether they be aurora or other fancy science words for the sciencey stuff in the sky. This has been your light, simple, and easy Thor News Solar Update. In basic, we've had another filament rip off the sun. Nope, no danger to Earth, just interesting to watch. I'll talk to you soon. God bless everyone.